Hello and welcome. So you have some game where you want to repeat a certain action, for example, just a basic left click. You want to continuously left click. Maybe that's what you want to do in a basic clicker game, for example. Because you want to, for some reason, see what the game has in for you. Grandma? What? Right, so maybe that's what you want. Well, then you probably googled something and maybe you found an AH, AH key script, auto hotkey script. For example, something that looks like this. Now the question is how to use this, because it is extremely confusing for a beginner. It was extremely beginning for me, so this is why I'm making this video. Basically, you need to take this, copy it with Ctrl C on your keyboard, and paste it into, uh, into a text file. If you press Windows key and R, you will open the Run interface, and here you can just write Notepad. Now I did install Notepad 2, which looks a bit different, but it's the same basically. Just paste it in here with Ctrl V. And now save this file, go to File, Save As, and then call this uh, constant clicking, for example, dot .ahk, O2 hotkey. That is important for making it easy to use later. All right, press Save, and here's a file. Now what you need to do now, you need to go to o2hotkey.com and go to the download page. The main homepage looks like this, and there's a download button. You can just press that. And here you can install the installer, the download the installer to install it system wide or for your user, I suppose. Or you can probably get uh, portable versions as well. We're gonna go with Auto Hotkey Installer. Here it is. We're just gonna double click this, press yes. Uh, in my case, I'm upgrading because I already have it installed. If you see this, I suggest you use Unicode 64 bit. And uh, let's just, yeah, press next. And to be honest, I have no idea which of these is useful or not. This is, I'm just going to go with that. All right, I think that's it. It seems to be done. So what happens now is that these icons of the AHHK files, which uh, the file ending you can only see if you do view, options, view, and make sure that hide extensions from known files is, file types is disabled if it's enabled you will not see the ending. If it is disabled, you will see the ending. Very important. All right, so constant clicking .ahk, we can just double click it and it will appear in the uh, system notification area. Here you can right click to exit it, but basically the script is running now. Let's take a look at the code though. So anyways, here is the script and you can see that the F8 key is the toggle in this case. It doesn't always use the word toggle. That's just a variable name. So, but look for something uh, left of two columns. That is usually the indicator of what you have to press to activate the script, which is now running. So let's press F8. There you go. And we can see that it actually works now at uh, 10 clicks per second, I believe. If I press F8 again, it stops. And by the way, I, I changed this and saved it just now. It actually is like this. But if we remove one zero, this would mean 1000 milliseconds waiting time. This means 100, which, which means 10 times per second. This would mean 100 per second if it actually is that fast. If we save this, and if we now click the auto hotkey icon and right click it and exit, we can now uh, restart the script. Here we go. And if I press F8 now, much faster, not 100 times per second, but as fast as it can handle it. Yeah, this is much better. We can actually keep this I mean, this doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, we can put it there. So this is how you can uh, use a simple clicking script. All right, so the reason why I made this tutorial is because I made a script recently. Let me just press F8 to disable this. I'm gonna also kill the script by right-clicking the icon and pressing exit again. Now this is the game for which I made a script. It's called Shine and Blades. It has no AI, so you just play player, uh, player against player. This is what you do, you stab each other. Yep. Very similar to Nidhogg, in case you ever heard of that. That's it. So basically you have uh, the actions left, right, up, down, control and shift. Shift is for dashing, which you can't do right now because there's no energy. Let me so show you dashing. There, that's a dash. You can hold up, hold down, you can attack. You can, uh, and depending on what your stance is, you attack differently. Here, let me show you that again. Up, attacking upwards, attacking downwards, attacking in the middle. Yep, so that's what this game is about. And this script here just randomly spams button with different, with various randomization and constantly moves to the left or right. So
So uh, what uh, we want here is the F1 key activates it. And um, I don't think I have a kill, kill switch or anything. So you have to actually right click the button to shut it off. But here is a script. Let's just double click it to run it. And uh, again, F, F1. All right. So if I press F1, it will activate and go. Whoa, dude. All right. So I got lucky there. Let's try this again. New game, new round. Here we go. Man, he's quick. All right. So I got used to uh, the erratic behavior already. I'm but I'm okay at blocking him now. All right, cool. But still, this is much better than having to pretend to play against yourself if there's a single player game with simple controls. Ah, see, he got me. That you really want to try out, which was the case for this game. Yeah. <laughs> and this is how you do it. I mean, to kill this script, I would have had written uh, an explanation how to how to kill it in the description, uh, in the code. Not an explanation, I would have coded it so that one of the keys that you can press actually destro uh, stops running the script. But I was lazy and I don't know how to do it. I would have to Google it. So in this case, I just have to right click the icon again and press exit. And now it just doesn't do anything anymore. And it's back to manual controls. So anyway, so this is how you use an AHK script, an auto hotkey script or a script file. If you already have the file, uh, you have to get AHK. You have to save the script as an AHK file. You double click it and that's it. And you have to know which key to press to activate it unless it actually starts uh, immediately. You cannot just remove this part, I believe, and then it will start immediately when you run the script which would be a bit uh, problematic depending on where your cursor or your focus is right now. Anyways, I hope you have fun automating whatever you're trying to automate. For example, just walking forward in, in Skyrim or... Does Skyrim still reward you for repeating the same action? And I remember I did it in Morrowind, just holding down forward uh, and using a script was easier than putting something physically on your keyboard, which also works. Anyways, have fun. And I'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe. Until then, ciao!